Okay, I think I got it. I think it's doing. Yeah, it says video. recording. Yeah, it's doing video. So, okay, so guys, hey Joe and Reese, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, I wanted to ask you guys, could you tell me a little bit about your whole e-commerce journey and why you got it in? You know, in, excited about private label and selling on Amazon. Um, you want to go first? Do you want to know how we first heard about it? Yeah, that sounds good. Can't, can't name names. I know I can't name names. Okay, we saw an ad for a short course, just an intro course, and it was coming to not too far from where we live. We signed up, we went, it sounded exciting, it sounded doable, it almost sounded easy, it sounded like fun, and from there, they upsold us a three-day course, which we were excited about going to. We went, we had to travel about an hour-ish to go to that. We went and stayed in a hotel. They told us more things that made it exciting and easy sounding, <laughs> except they didn't tell us the truth. Oh, well, that's one thing that I will tell you. I will tell you the truth, right? You always have. Oh, uh, well, good, good. So how much... I don't know the name of that company or course or whatever, but how much did you invest in your um, private label training? Oh God, do you really want to know? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Total, huh? Uh, let's see. Let's let's do before you met me and like how long you were in private label. Thirty-five k. Thirty-five k, and how yep. long? How long was that? How long ago that was? No, a, how long? How long what? How long ago? Yeah, when did you do that? Like what year? And then what did you learn from investing $35,000? October into the end of November. We went mid-October for the short course, Thanksgiving weekend for the long course, and that was in 17. So a year and about three, four months ago. Okay. Uh, let's just say from after the, we really didn't start till after Christmas that year, which was January last year, from that point on, uh, we were supposed to get help with uh, sourcing, finding products, the right product to sell, you know, the, the whole spiel, you know? Lots of coaching calls. And um, I never did so much work in my life. I've owned other businesses before. Okay. This doesn't, they don't even come close to this. Okay, okay. The help that they were supposed to give, I ended up doing most of it myself. Okay. Uh, Including all the sourcing. Finding companies to source from, manufacturers, um, making the deals, uh, everything. It was not much help at all. Okay. So um, they were kind of doing it as a, you know, just pay the money and they're going to do every, like a done for you service? Is that kind of what? No, they were supposed to have, we were supposed to get help um, through coaching calls, finding products to sell, okay. um, finding places to purchase them, okay. um, learning how to import them. Um, then there was going to be a warehouse at the company that we signed up with, and they were going to be doing the uh, pictures and the descriptions and the uh, bullets and the, the barcoding and the poly bagging and the packing and the, the sh all of that, all the good stuff. Okay, okay. And, um, I think that's just about when all hell broke loose is when we when we met you. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't even remember when I when we first met. Did we meet through Facebook or do you remember? August. I remember very well. August of last year. Okay. The Amazing. beginning of August. And was it through Facebook? Yes, I okay. was in a lot. I belong, I'm I'm in a lot of Amazon Facebook groups. Okay. And I followed. Um, I read your group for a while but I wasn't in it uh -huh. and I liked what I saw and you know, it seemed, you seemed extremely honest, which you definitely were and you still are. Oh, thank you. And, um, Straight across the board. <laughs> I hear that all the time. First experience, which was lies on lies. And right. I will remember, I do remember the night that you called us and we're on the phone for I about do that. five minutes with us. Yes. Actually, I think I was talking us down off a cliff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I'm laughing now, but I wasn't laughing then because I could feel your pain. And whenever it was a horror. You, 
Yeah, whenever you've been lied to and sold the bill of goods, especially for $35,000, guys, that's, that's a lot of money, you know, and, you know, that's, there's two things you don't mess with, people's time and people's money. And as a boss, that's one thing, one of the first things that I learned, and it's so, so true, even with your own private label business. You know, we, the, the whole thing is we were looking to invest in something. We were actually looking at a lot of brick and mortar, different brick and mortar businesses. Okay. And then we found this and I would rather do something online than open a store any day. Okay. It's just two different animals. So when we heard all about this and we went through all of this and we were very skeptical also, we did a lot of research on it and we didn't jump in it right away. It, and like I said, I've had, other business before I it's never what you're told it's like oh two hours a week I knew that wasn't true from the start yes that's what we were told and that's exactly what we were told <laughs> by the way oh yeah and um, when we first contacted you is when all our shipments were coming from China and the FTC shut the warehouse where they were going down oh wow that's when I first contacted you okay. and our shipments, it's very funny. I don't know if you remember, they went from China to California, from California to Minneapolis. Then they had to send them back from Minneapolis to send them to California to send them to Brooklyn, New York. Oh, wow. So thankfully, they were delayed a little bit, or they would have been in this company's warehouse when it got shut. Oh, thank God. There's so many people. It's, there were over 500 people involved in this, different, different people. And... A lot of them had stock in the warehouse that they weren't able to even access till probably three months ago. Oh, wow. I can't even imagine that. So while our delays frustrated mm -hmm. us, they ended up saving us. Okay. So a lot of boxes were here. And I, I, I don't know if I ever showed you pictures of the living room. Did you ever see pictures of our living room? I, I didn't. I don't think so. Uh, I'll send you some. <laughs> okay. It, it, was, it was literally like a warehouse and assembly line in here. I learned more in the two and a half months that everything started arriving here till we got rid of it back at Amazon. I learned more about Amazon than I ever wanted to know <laughs> in, I just, hear you. in just two months. It was like a crash course. Okay. And it's like anything else. You, you go in nuts until you finally just get into the groove and then, you know, other things click. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, it was, it's like, it was very interesting. We're smiling now. We weren't smiling then. I bet, I bet. You know, the expression timing is everything. Right. We got the news of doom only days before I was having a total shoulder replacement on my dominant arm. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. So not only was Joe going to need to take care of me, and I wasn't going to be totally alert about it, uh -huh. he also needed to dive in and see how he could save our company okay okay well i do know your brand and i do know that you're selling products now on amazon so tell me a little bit about your sales i know um you, you had some issues getting it there and then starting to get some sales and just this week you sent me a screenshot of some sales so can you talk about how that made you feel when all of that work that you put in is you can actually see it coming to fruition now Yes, um, I actually hired someone to copyright one of the products, mm -hmm. and one the, one of the products that I'm not going to name the products. Okay, uh, yeah, don't, don't tell us. Yeah, they copyright uh, one of the products that's child parent, mm -hmm. and um, or parent child, whatever way you said, mm -hmm. and um, it wasn't selling at all. And they did the copywriting, and they told us that it would probably take about four to six weeks for the um, Amazon algorithms to catch up. And then we would see, start seeing sales, and which is exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, we used your girl for the pictures, Tanya. She was, those pictures were amazing. They are. I was like, who did your pictures? Yeah, they're Actually, awesome. When you asked that, I was like, your girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she, she does mine. They're awesome. Yeah, stunning pictures. And that started picking up. And then one of the other products, um, we already had copywriting on it and I was just tweaking it here and there and the keywords and stuff and just learning a lot of stuff that I learned from your course. Mm -hmm. And that product itself does well on a regular. Okay. Um, there is one that's a bomb. Okay. That no matter what I do with it, I just can't seem to give it away. Okay. I've done, Literally. I've, I've done buy one, get ones and oh my God. Uh, 
and it stinks because the buy one get one is all the way down at the bottom of the page. You don't see it. Mm -hmm. So I just change it to a coupon because the coupons are different colors and they're up top. Right. So okay. when people see a percentage off, uh, you know, hey, look, it's a deal. Right. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to leave that for a few weeks. Okay. But uh, yeah, it took a while, but we actually started getting deposits, which got, which are now getting a little larger and larger and larger and larger and larger. And can I say an amount? Um, if you want to. For us, and then we've only been selling for five months, remember. Right. So this next deposit that's coming in, I just looked at it, is $576, okay. awesome. which, is, which is the biggest one yet. And it's been steadily climbing. It's not always like that. It's one deposit might be 30 bucks, another one might be 90, and then another one might go back down to 70, and then it goes up to 230, mm -hmm. but it's getting there. Right. And it, it is, let me tell you, it's exactly what, I remember when you said, I don't care what anybody tells you, it's a lot of work. Right, right. It is. It's a lot of work. But you know what? It's like anything else. Like I said, once you do it for a while, it a lot of it is no brainer after a while. Yeah, it's like riding a bicycle. Once you learn it, you'll yeah. never like unlearn it and you're gonna get on and start pedaling faster and faster and faster. Yep, exactly. Well, you told us the truth, uh -huh. which yeah. was diametrically opposite from what we had been told before. Uh-huh. And it's a whole lot easier to deal with things when you know the truth. Right, right. And that's one thing that I always say because people contact me and they're like, Becky, you know, I want to quit my job next week and go sit, sit my ties on the beach. And I'm like, no, no, no. If someone's selling you that, don't. Not yet. <laughs> Not yes, yes. I mean, it, it can happen, but I mean, I still work a full-time career and I've been selling on Amazon for five years. However, I do make more money on Amazon than I do with my two master's degrees, but I love the company that I work with. I love the, my chemist. I love my amazing husband that we retired and he stays home with our boys. I'm what still trying think? to figure out how you did all of this while you still worked full time. Well, it, it, and if you've listened to my story, um, Joe, I gained 50 pounds in yep. one year. That's a lot of weight. And I saw you. Yeah, it's a lot of weight, and I'm working on getting it back off. But you know what? I wouldn't change a thing. I but what I would is I would teach people not to to, to realize it's not going to happen overnight. That it is a journey. I mean, you don't have to cram and learn it all in one year, and just take it, you know, one day at a time. And the most important thing that I want people to get from this is balance. You know, you were kind of thrown in the fire because your shipment was sidetracked and rerouted and everything but thankfully like you said you were able to get it at your home instead of you know god knows where it would have ended up we were one of one of the few lucky people yeah yeah and you know you paid thirty five thousand, and my course was 997 dollars at the time that you purchased it and yep. you know a lot you know at one time the course was 497 dollars, but people didn't see the value because sometimes you know, if people think they invest $35,000, they think they're getting something better than 497. So my coach said, Becky, raise the price. And so I did. And do you know, I got more sales at 997 than 497. And I know that I can even raise the price even more. You had, you had me do that with one of the, with one of the products and it started selling better. Yeah. Yeah. And I had, so was selling better. I had something selling for 999 and I upped it to 1299 and it just like took off. Yeah. It, and I think it's the perceived value in people's minds, you know, that, oh, I'm going to pay more. So I'm going to do that. And one of my coaches was like, you know, $997, people are going to laugh you out of the marketplace. And it's truly because I want to help people. But then on the other hand, there are people like, oh, I want to keep my $997. And then they're just not ready, you know, to take that leap yet. What they don't realize is the value that comes from your course is going to get that 997 back for them very quickly right right but that's something that you know if people don't know me then they wouldn't know that i'm still i still i'm still watching videos mm -hmm. i still I'm, watch videos i'm actually still not done with the i'm i hit a certain point in the course uh -huh. and all this stuff started going crazy uh -huh. like i watch i turn on a video every chance i get to just get down the line mm -hmm. and it, it just uh, like i said it when it makes things click. Right. Because you'll be going crazy doing something and then it just makes total sense. Yeah, and I see that with all of my projects. Like when I tackle these new things, I'm like, 
And now that I've gotten more knowledge, it's, it's like putting pu a puzzle together. It's like, oh, this piece fits here and this piece, fits, oh, that makes sense now. And it is, but at first when you're, you know, maybe overwhelmed and you have information overload, could you give me some advice to give brand new people that are trying to, you know, cram everything and learn it? You know, some people send me a message and they're like, Becky, I've watched your course for a week and I haven't found the product. What, what's some advice that you can tell for about uh, that? This is, that's a good question. <laughs> really yeah. good question. First off, you're not going to find a product in a week. I searched for months mm -hmm. and I am not kidding. I must have searched for six months before I found one that I was interested in. Not hours a week. <laughs> yeah. And I'm talking about, I crunched all the numbers mm -hmm. to make sure it was the right product. The mistake that was made was that the company we were dealing with should have said, like you did, start with one product. Mm -hmm. They didn't. So we started with three different products, which actually became six. Mm -hmm. Now you got to do all the advertising for each one. It's impossible to do it all at one time. Mm -hmm. it, you got to add one at a time. And so the advice would be take your time, find the right product, make sure you crunch all the numbers. Don't forget anything that you have to add. Like, and I made a list, like you find your product, manufacturing, packaging, poly bagging, shipping, barcoding, and it's got to get to the warehouse. You got all the fees from Amazon, you know, the referral, the pick and pack, the storage and everything else that goes along with it. 60 cents for every coupon. There's fees for, I couldn't believe it when I looked at those reports you showed, tell me where they were. Uh -huh. and, oh my God, I couldn't believe all these fees. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you got, you have to figure all that into your product price. So it, it's better off to take a little extra time mm -hmm. and make sure you have everything than to just dive in. Cause if you dive in like they had us do it, it wasn't a good feeling. It wasn't, it was, I would, I got to say, if I didn't, this is God's honest truth. Okay. If you didn't call us back that night, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. Aww. Because I was ready to, I was literally ready to kill somebody. Aww. After Not everything, that he would. After everything, yeah. that, after everything that went wrong and... It, the best part is it wasn't the people we were dealing with. They were not the people that got in trouble because I spoke to the FTC and I spoke to the, the receivership that actually ended up taking over the company for now. And they told us, no, they knew nothing about it. Not, none of them are in trouble. So they were good people. Right. And what we know right. now is they weren't particularly well trained. Not at all. Not even close. They seemed like they were because we knew nothing. Mm -hmm. but. In hindsight, they gave us some really bad advice on an ongoing basis. Yeah. And I don't think it was intentional. I think they were good people. I think they weren't given the right training. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, a, that's an honest statement to yeah. say. So that's, that's very but honest. I, I don't blame the people that we, were helping us at all. Okay. But they, that's all they knew. The main people who then connected us with other companies um, to get us registered in all sorts of states. Oh, God. One nightmare after the other, they wanted to give us fees for all sorts of things. They sent us a list. We took it to our accountant and he, he, left. he just marked them off. Nope, I do this for you. Nope, you don't pay $10,000 for that. You pay a couple of hundred dollars for that. I mean, thankfully we had him to look at that because I could see how someone could really be sold on a lot of that. Right. Yeah. The fear factor, I need to protect myself legally. They're going to do all this. <clears throat> well, they did some things. We did not receive most of the services we were supposed to. Some of what we got was just poor quality. Some of it, like the whole warehousing yeah. and packaging and shipping, none. A lot of things. Like they talked us into incorporating in another state for non disclosure reasons. It's harder to get at you which we really don't need for what we sell. And if I knew that, then I would have just done it here. Because now we have to put, now I had to pay a registered agent for that state, a filing fee for that state. Then they called me up four days before the end of January and told me that, oh, it's time to do the registered agents for New York. I'm like, what are you talking about? Don't, what that, I thought that's what I pay you for. Oh, no, you have to do one for New York, too. 
never did they tell me that I could be my own registered agent in New York. I found that after I paid it because I figured I got four days, I better pay this. Right. Mm -hmm. That's only a few weeks to this pay. just happened. So the nightmare with them is kind of extending and continuing. Yeah. So we're going to just, we're, we're going to move everything here. It just, it, I'm just, we're just going to get rid of them completely. Okay. okay. It's been a mess. Well, um, Joe and Reeves, I, I really do appreciate you guys talking to me, but one thing I really want to point out is I work with a lot of couples that are in the same situation as you guys were by different companies, not just the company <clears throat> you're with, but with other companies as well. And what I find sometimes is maybe the wife still has that little flicker of hope saying, I, I think it, I think this will work, this will work. And then the husband's like, no way. You know, we already got scammed or whatever. And then sometimes it's the husband that says, I, I think, I think I can, I think, I think it'll work. And the wife is like, heck no. So what do you, what do you, what is your advice to the couples that are like, ah, about you it? You know? you know, I'll let you go first. Well, I certainly was not the driving force in resuscitating this business. Okay. Um, That's a good I way mean, to put it. <laughs> yeah, I was very downtrodden after what happened, especially with it coming days before major surgery, mm -hmm. and I could not deal with it at all. Okay. okay. Um, Joe is the one who has brought this back to life. He has put in copious number of hours every week. Oh, I, I live with either, either my cell phone, a laptop, a desktop, my tablet, which is now dead, it has to be repaired <laughs> because it's been turned on and off so many times. Okay. But there's always an electronic device in my hand. If I and it, it's to the point where um, I'm a little ADD with this sometimes. If I wake up in the middle of the night for something, I'll I'll check to see if there's anything wrong or if how the sales are going. It's re it's so funny. You know, when I first started, I would hit. I had. I'm I'm with you. I would have my phone and I would check it and I would hit that the the re you know where it refreshes all the time and then yep. i was like, no, it's out of sight and out of mind it's gonna sell it's gonna sell i know it's gonna sell so i'm just gonna quit wasting my time but when i was new i always did that and now i i can't because it's just you know it's just so much but i did and i remember that feeling and i think you're not alone. I think everybody has those feelings too. Um, but one thing I would caution you with is definitely have some balance in there because it can consume you. Like, and I don't want you to gain 50 pounds in one year. I'm trying. Okay. I'm trying. Like today, I made myself a promise. I was not going up to the office. Okay, good. And I think I might have snuck in once. Okay. <laughs> but I've been downstairs most of the time. I only turned the laptop on, believe it or not. Not to check Amazon, to do something else that I had to return to Amazon that I purchased. Okay. So I've been trying to find the balance. I'm trying to do a lot of the things you told me to do. Okay. And okay. one of the things I do want to point out is a subject that um, Reeves does not know that we touched on a long time ago. When, if you go into this as a partner, Becky's the one that actually I spoke to when you weren't really crazy about this. Hmm. And she told me to look at it from your side. Mm -hmm. okay. So I know you didn't know that. No. She's the one that saved the, well, stopped all the fighting we were having. Ah, okay, um, thank you. I, I do. That's. I really want to point that out. That you know, we went in together. We were all for it together, and then all of a sudden, she just wasn't into it anymore. Mm -hmm. And oh my God, there was so much um, tension, tension, and um. What's the right word I'm looking for? Uh, resentment. Mm -hmm. And like, I felt abandoned and all this kind of crap. And sorry about that. Yeah. And then I, I sent you a message. Like, what do I do? What do I do? And then you sent me back a nice long message. It's actually, it's actually on the private group. It's in the, it's the private label group. It's still there. About, uh, you yeah, know, you got to look at it from her side. You know, it's, maybe it's not her thing. Mm -hmm. She thought she liked it, and she, it's just not her thing anymore. So and I just... You know, if it was what they told us, I would have been okay. I'm a little computer phobic, which doesn't work well with an internet business. A little. <laughs> a little. I, I'm yeah. functional. I have two other jobs, and they require me using the computer. Uh -huh. And I have my limited skill set. And what I do, I do. 
but this was just way blown up intimidating for me and it wasn't what I thought I was walking into and I froze. Gotcha. And that happens to a lot of people. So don't, so don't feel like you're alone as well. Um, that's why, oh, go ahead. That's why I brought it up. And he's an IT guy. Uh -huh. so this was way closer yeah, to him. Yeah, I was talking about that's why I brought up what happened. With, you know, with yeah. 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 But I just didn't see myself being able to do this. And the more it became a problem, the more I shied away from it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So since you are the one who helped us through that hump, in retrospect, I thank you. I never told her. <laughs> You're never welcome. Told, never told her. Oh, okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. And, and I see that a lot as well. You know, like sometimes the husband or the wife, they're very consuming and they maybe, you know, don't think about their spouse or, you know, it's, it's laser focus on getting you this product. To the neglect? You mean the, the neglect? neglect? That's the there word. There you go. That's one word. That's the word you used. That's the word you told me when I asked. Yes. Yes. That's a very Brutally honest. <laughs> brutally honest that's me, oh, that's that's, me. I love that's what I love about you you yeah. say exactly what's on your mind oh I do I do sometimes to my own detriment but I do so well listen guys thank you so much um, I know this little interview is going to help so many people but one last question do you feel that you have enough skills now to go out and research and private label and import all on your own without the other company doing it for you um, I say, yeah, I have enough information that I'm at, I will be starting to look for an actual, another product in a couple of weeks. Okay. Um, cause we're obviously with dumping the one that I told you we can't, I can't give it away. Right. I'm going to just put it. Yeah, uh, you can donate it and write it off on your tax. I'm going to do some, I'm going to do something. With it. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I could definitely, I know everything I need to look for at this point. Okay. So, and, and one of the favorite things is the niches are in the sub, 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 sub categories. Yeah, the riches are in the niches. The riches are in the niches, yep. Yes. And we were just talking about that. I was just telling Reeves yeah. about looking in the subcategory. And I ju we just actually, I am about that. And I was like, what do, you, what do you mean? And then I realized what you meant. When you look on the left, you see the main category, and then you see all the categories underneath that one. Uh -huh. that, was a, that was a nice area to look down there. Yes. Yes. One other great tip you gave us was to lean more toward consumable. Yes. Because the products we're selling are things that you sell once and they last for years and years and years. Yeah, that everything else will be consumable. Yep. And we went for super high quality so that aren't even going to be short term use. Yep, yep. That's awesome. That's what I do. I mean, it just makes sense to me. Yep. And before you run, I just want to say um, an important thing is the packaging. Mm hmm. When we were, I was packaging one of the items and I'm like, oh, you know, it's 50 cents extra for the, I, we can't really do that right now. It was 50 cents extra for a box with beautiful pictures and stuff on it, you know, really done nice. And if I thought about it, it would have cost me not really that much mm -hmm. for what it ended up costing. I had to go out to Staples. I had to find a picture on the internet. I had to go out to Staples and have, had to have them print eight. 150 of them. Then I had a peel, and all of us, we had like three, four of us up here one night, oh my peeling gosh. pictures, peeling the backs of pictures and putting them on boxes. Oh my so goodness. Would, so they would look nice, then packing them back with the box we took them out of, taping it up again, labeling it again. It was freaking insane. It, there will never be another pr product ever stepping in this house unless it's a sample. <laughs> <laughs> Everything gets done where it's supposed to get done, yes. and it gets sent straight to the warehouse. Awesome, awesome. But hey, you learn, you learn. Yes, yes, but you learn from your mistakes. So listen, guys, thank you so much for spending your time with me. Um, any last things that you want to say before we hop off of here? Nah, that was the, that was the main last thing I wanted to get in. Thank you for being there when we needed you yes. absolutely the most. And you made the difference between this thinking and stuff. Yes, absolutely. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you have a great night. And everyone watching, I hope you have a great night as well. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. Good night. Thank bye -bye. you.